YouTube, what's going on guys? It's your boy Decades. We're back to a universe. This is episode 12 and I'm shooting this on October the 15th, 10, 16 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Of course, you guys have seen the new edition. This thing is freaking sweet. Love it. I've made multiple trips over to the market. This thing handles, I, I really don't know what else I could ask for out of a ship, to be honest with you. For, for my flying abilities this thing is flawless it flies fantastic um let me show you uh now that i have these lines oops these lines in place it's giving me a little bit more i'm gonna say leisure time i don't have to worry about running around and setting up temporary lines and trying to get this part or that part done. everything's automatic i love that part right everything's automatic i, I already have my territory unit which we're gonna buy another territory while we um during this episode and um i have seven large containers at the uh at the market the bad news is to my surprise guys number one the container market as of right now it could be just because it's the weekend right everybody's out doing something whatever um maybe that's why the market is oh man the market is going so slow right now but basic container large so i'm the cheapest here but that price started at 220 earlier today it was 220 i think it was 225 so i was like 224 999 and i noticed after a couple of hours i wasn't i'm like i haven't sold one so i, I look back and man it was like this guy here then me and then there was several like this all the way up to this guy here so i'm like okay i'll go ahead and price it below this guy so i can get these sold i don't like sitting on inventory um but I have not sold one yet. And these have been sitting on the market for... Uh, oh, look at this. You see that? It, it, they just keep coming down. Keep coming down. Um, so I'm just going to leave it at 204000 because this is only one. Now, if this guy had put ten at 200000 I would have no choice but to re reduce my price. Um, but now I'm just going to leave it at two hundred four. Anyway, so it seems like there's more people making these now here on alioth than it was before so i may have to change up um, what i'm going to do um also what i was looking at like look at this here 249,999, and they want 30 of these but this is on thades i don't know where that is i know it's 155 su for me that's a heck of a hike um and I don't have a ship capable of going out there, but it just gave me a business idea, right? So once I have that interplanetary ship, I could just build out um, products at my base. Just let it sit in my inventory until and just check the market and see until something like this pops up. And then I just throw them in my ship and take off and go there and sell all 30 of them, right? All 30 of these. That's, that's what, set 8 million? Something like that. So that would be awesome. Um, so my, my point is I'm going to let these run. I'm going to let the quantities fill up, right? I have this one set for maintain five. There's five in stock. I'm not going to take it out of stock for the mediums. I have five. There's five in stock. I'm not going to take any out of there. And for the largest, I have five and there's zero, but these three are going to be done within the next hour so let's see how much basic hydraulics there's 375 so it's not it's not even enough for two so anyway once those are done, i'm just going to leave those in stock i'm not going to put those back on the market um i have seven up for sale that'd be 1.4 million um so what i'm going to do is go out and we're going to buy another territory i decided then I'm going to go here. I'm not going to go out into the water. I'm going to buy right here. Because if I buy here, it's going to get this bonus. If I buy here, you only have one. If I buy here, you only have one. If I have buy here, you have this bonus as well. But it's, it just seems like I have more available up here to buy. And I have less here. Because this person is expanding. So I really think I need to jump on this as fast as possible. So we're going to go buy this today. 
as a matter of fact, like right now. Let me just put it right here. And then I'll show you guys what I've been working on for my base. I've been playing around with these voxels. So, okay, is this my... Yep, it is. And let me make sure my... Yep, perfect. That's there. So we're going to get our little decades mobile. And then we're going to shoot over there. Come on, let's go. So, I'm still, I'm thinking 10 uh, might be my max right now as far as to having 10 properties and being able to uh, rotate the calibrations with the calibration charges that I have because they just don't regen that fast. Okay, so I have these two there. Now, I wish I would have put those down here. I wish I would have been able to foresee this. So, but I'm just I'm gonna put it on the problem. Put it on the land. Oh man, I'm too far. Dang it! All right, so we need to go back. Go about here. We should be good there. Yep, perfect. So let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna need this we're going to need two of these Ooh, we can't do okay well, let's go put this territory unit down Come on. yeah we'll put this territory unit down and then we'll go and we'll go back And get the other items that we need to put down. So we'll go about here so it's out of the way. Yeah, perfect. Let's go here. Get off me, bro. Get off me. There we are. Territory. Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. All right. So we own this now. That's awesome. And we're going to be able to get a nice little surplus of ore. Let's go back over here. We got to go back to get our our link. Then we'll bring our um, core and our two miners and a storage container. Yep, that's good enough right about there. Perfect. Okay, wait a minute. Why am I not... Okay. Wait, what's going on here? Okay, so we need... Shift. Get two of these. Perfect. Whoa. Okay, so can we bring one of these over? Mm, Alright, so let's put this back. Put one back. Alright. And we'll bring over one core. We'll bring over one small. Okay, and we'll bring over some... What is this painted black iron? We'll bring that over. Uh, yeah, let's do let's do a hundred. So we have the core, the container, the miner, plus the material to put it down. Okay, perfect. That's what we need right now. We'll go back. And I know I think we have to wait like ten minutes or seven minutes or something like that. Before we can actually start building. But yeah, this is going to be awesome. This is going to help with the ore. So we're going to build right up here. Mm 
Yep, perfect. Alright. And... Because I don't really want... Uh, you know what? Let's go down a little closer. What about here? And then we just build up in the air. That's fine. Don't like really being in the water. Okay, and... We have to wait till... How long did it say? Did it say two minutes? Hmm. Territory claimed in one minute, 50 something seconds. Okay. Right. We are, we should be good to go. Yep. We're going to rotate this bad boy. Hmm. Let me see. Am I pointed at the right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll just put it there. And we're going to come out of the water, uh, maybe right there. Okay. Oh, that's good. Let's do that. And now, we're going to do this. Bring this down some. Uh, right about there. Yeah, that's good right there. All right. And we'll do this. Easy peasy. Hey, you know what? I'm going to go this way. Let's go towards the... Oh, that's good. All right. And I'll be coming from that direction over here. I'll normally park. And I'll put the container over here. Yeah. I'll put a container right here. Yeah, that's fine. Right above there. Alright, so first... Miner, we can go right here. That works. Do number two here, and... That's perfect. Number six, from here to here. And we need hematite, of course. We'll do hematite first. Nice, nice, nice. Yep. So we have eight. That's the thing, man. These take forever to re regenerate. This is still... Yeah. One charge is generated every 3.6 hours. Yeah, I thought it was down to three hours. Um, before... Oh, it will be. Because I have... I think the last... The last update to that talent is like a million so i'm gonna wait till i get that like uh, november because it's october 15th i think we get our bonus our bonus talent talent points at the beginning of the month or maybe at the end whenever whenever those bonuses come i'm gonna max out these max out everything dealing with our my miners so let's go ahead and calibrate i like this little game i using my new technique the newer technique anyway i do okay but it still sometimes throws me. Because I'll do this for the area cone. And it'll point up this direction. And I gotta do like this. Actually, it's over here some. So let's come down to about there. And then it ends up being like over here somewhere. See? What I'm saying? So now that that happened, I gotta come down like this. And see if it's down in here somewhere. Hmm. Not looking good. Not looking good at all. Okay, last one. I'll go here. Dang it. Alright, so we'll just we'll go with this one. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I said it'd be over here somewhere. So that happens, but not often. And I still got 3,000. How many am I going to start? Only 75. Yeah, that's only because it's the first calibration. So I'll wait till tomorrow and I'll recalibrate this. And it'll be making a lot more. So we're going to go ahead and drop out of here. Take this with us. And also have, I think, one or two more container augments to make to get my uh, distance maximized. Because when that's maxed out, I think you can go like two kilometers away from your container. Because like right now I'm at 1.6. All 
All right. So that's done. Where's my... There it is. So we got to go back and get another... Another miner. If you wonder why I'm not going to put all four down is because actually I think I maybe I will because I have six of them um, because I want to buy the other territory as soon as the container sell I'm going to get the other territory and then I want to put uh, whoa I want to concentrate on the ores that I need first which is the bauxite and the hematite those are the two ores that are dominant in my assembly line Okay, so let's do. Oh, now, yeah, coal. Coal is pretty dominant now as well. Uh, hold on, let's do this. Take this, put that back over there. Come on, man. Like that, put that back. Okay, put scrap back. Don't need that right now. Okay, then we'll do. Yeah, we can do two of those. All right, perfect. Okay, and now we'll go back. So we did hematite, we need to do bauxite, and then I'll do coal. I'll do those three. Quartz is not that big of a deal. I have so much quartz, it's crazy. I don't have uh, much going on with quartz. And because it's such small quantities, I mean, I can make a little small miner in my inventory, you know, on my nano pack. I don't, you don't, you don't need an assembly line for that. All right, so number one, we're gonna go right there, and then put another one right here. And I know now that I can just hit you, and then it'll be like. It'll turn yellow when it lines up. Boom. Hit you again, you again, and we're good. Okay, turn that off. Number two, oops. Number two. Alt. Do that. And then that. Six here to here. And then you to you. Beautiful. Okay, and so we did hematite. Let's do bauxite, calibrate. Okay. See if we get lucky. Okay. Boom. Mm, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. So we got that good. Get that going. Perfect. And now for you. And we have we need coal. Okay. I like this little game. It never gets old. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Oh, maybe down here. Mm. Oh, that's not good. We do one more. Um, man, it could be all the way over here somewhere. All right, let's do this. Let's give an idea. Oh, that was a complete failure. All right. I'll go here. Oh, it was all the way up here. Wow. Okay. And because I'm not hurting for those... Because what you can actually do, you can put this back in your inventory and then put it back down and use another charge and get another surplus of ore. Um, but I'm not hurting for any ore at all. As a matter of fact, I don't know if any of this, this all this isn't gonna fit. 
I don't think all this will fit inside my inventory. I'm going to have to take some of this and then come back and get the rest. Just because I'm so far away from uh, my linked container. Come on. Man, I was having a red error popped up and it was saying general voxel error and then the ores were disappearing right in front of me. That was happening last night when I was mining. I'm proud of my little nano pack container. Mm, okay, hey, look at me. Flex in my storage space. Ah, uh, okay. I was wondering, what the heck? How'd you get in here? Underwater, bro. Okay, so we don't have to go that far. Let's go right over here. Right by these miners, and I can throw it into that con my linked container. Yeah, this would be good right here. Perfect. This, this, and this, and throw it right back there. Perfect. Let's go back and get our stuff. And we are good to go. Oh, shift. There we go. And then I'll show you guys what I was messing with. I was messing with the voxels, trying to come up with a base for my my landing landing pad. I think I did pretty good. I think I did pretty good. From my skill set anyway. Okay, so now we have an additional three miners generating ores. I mean, that's that's awesome. I just need to get that other territory, but I need to sell. I need to sell the uh, containers and then come up with a different plan, maybe. As far as. How am I going to generate money on a consistent basis? I don't like it. And I know this is the first time that the, the, the large containers kind of hung around at the market. But I don't like when my stock is just sitting at the count, at the uh, market. I like being able to sell it immediately and get rid of it and get the money. Because I have, now that I bought that territory, in three days I have to pay for it again. And then it goes into the seven day cycle. And I have five days, right? Let's go here. I think I have five days until my, yeah, four days now. Four days, so I have three days. This is the one I just bought. So I gotta make sure I have f uh, that 500,000. Plus there's gonna be another 500,000 to, to buy the next territory, plus another 500,000 in three days for that territory and then I have three others the day after that that's going to be 1.5 million so I have to make sure I have you know a couple million waiting so I, I might wait until tomorrow to see if all those containers will sell mm, you, you come over here bro get over there there you are. Okay. Um, so let's get in here and let's dump this and this in here. And then we need to go here types, materials, this and this, and this all move over here. Um, yep. Perfect. Perfect. So. I'll show you guys what I did to the base. 
<laughs> Look at your boy. Look at your boy. Yes, sir. Look at me looking kind of fancy. Looking a little fancy. I like it. I like it a lot. I was actually thinking about making like something like this go from here up to the corner. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I don't know what it looked like though. Um, do I have any more? Yeah, right here. Okay, so we're going to do build mode. I'll show you how I did it. I go to... I hit number three, which is called line voxel tool. So I did this. Ah, I can't do it down there. Okay, what if I did here? Okay, and then I can do to like right. There. That's how I did it. But then I kept playing around with it because at first, you see how it's nice and solid and nice and smooth? It kept doing this. So just point, look at it and hit backspace. So then what I ended up doing was doing like a number two, going up here in a corner. Where, let's see, what, where's the, what, that's down this line right here. Okay, so going right there and then hitting the E button like this. Now I need to hit R. Ooh, that's not gonna, I don't like the way that looks. Okay, yeah, like that. And then I did this and went over like that. Okay, did that. Then I did three. And I did this. And then I brought it down to something like that. That's how I got it to look decent like this instead of being all choppy like it was before. But I was looking like, oh. Look at the little foundation I'm putting in place. Look at your boy. But I don't really think this is necessary. Don't know. Don't know. Because what I want to do is, let's say, let's go with number two. Then we're going to change the shape to that cylinder. There we are. Like this. And then click. And we're going to drag that bad boy all the way down to the ground. Ooh. Won't let me go that far. I was going to do something like that. But have it go all the way down to the ground. But that won't work with... Because this doesn't touch the ground. Back here does. So if I get out of this and go into this build. See, this one I can have go straight down into the... Gr nope, not even, not even there. No, nope, that's not, that's not good. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it like this. More is less. I mean, uh, less is more. <laughs> I say more is less. <laughs> oh, man. Less is more. So, I mean, you can't say it's not supported, right? Have support right there, even though those that's plastic. <laughs> oh, man. So, um... I think that'll be it for right now because I'm going to just pretty much let these lines run. I'm going to, yeah, see, nothing has sold. That's crazy. Let's see, let's go back and see if I'm still the, the cheapest container large. And no, look at this. Look at this. It was one, now it's five. And now it's down to 199 just keeps going lower that's crazy before you know it might as well just pick these up and go sell it to you and just go here and sell it <laughs> oh man so I don't know I don't know if this is a good business idea anymore just producing containers because it's, it's sit here for so long so we'll see we'll see when I log in tomorrow maybe everything will be sold and everything will be back to normal
But as of right now, I'm going to be in trouble in a couple of days if those containers don't sell because that was a lot of ore. That is a lot of ore to make these containers. As a matter of fact, I'm going to turn this. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn this off. I'll let that one finish. I'm going to turn this one off. Because I don't want these making containers anymore. Just, just sit tight. This one is making a mining miner. Um, no, we don't need that anymore. Just stop. There we go. Put that put all that stuff back. <laughs> I need to make sure I have enough ore just in case I have to run out. And uh, these parts are already made, so I'm not worried about that. And actually, this these are already made. See the container. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I guess I can always sell one of those. How many are in there? Three. I think those sell pretty good. Okay. J. Let me see. Mining large. Um, oh man, look at this, 76 of them. So yeah, I'm better off just taking them here and selling them at a buck fifty. Than to try to compete with this. So that's not bad, $150,000 per miner, mining unit. It's not that bad doesn't take much to build those it just takes it just takes time it doesn't it, this line was very simple to set up especially because I pull it was pulling from over here now what about these territory units how much do those go for Wow that's even cheap Everything's coming down in price. Look at this. At one particular point, someone bought one for two million. Now, look at this. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That's less than 10%, bro. You're getting less than 10% of what it once was. So, I don't know. Um, I do know that before, I think I told you guys... I had assembly lines the first time I was playing back in 2000, I think 19, 2020. Um, I had assembly lines, but it was only to make my own parts. It was never to do like a mass production to sell at the market. And what I came up with was because it is just faster and, and convenient and reliable that you can just grab your ore, throw it in your ship, take it and sell it for 25 bucks a piece right and again I have not I have not completed a cost analysis to see exactly how much does it cost for us to create a large container or a large auto miner factoring in the schematic plus how much ore it takes to make each individual part that goes into making that particular part I have not done that yet, but I do know a if I take forty thousand or forty kiloliters of ore, it's like seven hundred thousand. Hold on, hey Siri, what's forty thousand times twenty five? Forty thousand times twenty five is one million. So it's one million. It's a million bucks. To just take forty thousand. I've there's been multiple times, multiple that I've had multiple ores with over forty kiloliters, right? So I'm, I'm just I don't know. I'm just that's why I put push um you know stop on all those assemblers up there. I want to just see a when I log in tomorrow, did all my containers sell and 
from there I'm going to go around collect all the ores and see how much ore gets accumulated in this container and then take it from there because again now that I have this ship the next agenda is my 15 million dollar ship because I really want to start going to different planets and mining and doing things like that um, and what else? Uh, well, let me see. Like, do are there like anything? Maybe I, maybe I'm producing the wrong item. Maybe I should be doing like. What the heck is this? Radars, quick wired space radar. I don't even know what that is. Advanced safe space. Wow. I don't know what that is either. Hmm, let's do basic space engine large. How much are those selling for? 225. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, price per unit, zero. <laughs> I guess somebody wants you just to pack up all your stuff, take them out there and just give it to them. Because I'm thinking space engines would be high demand, right? With that, with with builders, but they probably build their own engines. I don't know if they would go to the market to buy them because that's inconsistent. For me, it's about dependability, consistency. You know, if I'm going to be a builder, I would build all my own space mining unit. Do you have to have a space mining unit in order to no, put it on another planet? What would space mining unit be for? Would that be for asteroids? I thought asteroids you use your um, mining gun on you where you can burrow underground and things like that. So I don't know. I don't know what a space mining unit is. Oh, maybe it's on the moon. Maybe that's what this is for. On a moon. Hmm. All right, guys, so I'll cut the video and come back tomorrow. Again, today is October 15th. I'll come back tomorrow and see what happens with my sales because, again, this is not looking good. And it's taking a long time to sell my containers. So, and maybe I should take all the rest of these, the smalls and the mediums, and go put it on the market and see if those will sell. All right, guys, quick update. It is October 16th, it's 3.11 a.m. And I just thought I would log on just to see if the things have sold at the market and they sure did, 2.4 million. So I have enough money here to pretty much pay for all of my properties. Um, but I'm not gonna, I'm just, I'm not gonna rest on that. I'm gonna go ahead and buy another territory as soon as this one is done um it's over here i think i have like 60 more minutes uh, 72 more minutes um so what i'm going to do i'm getting ready i wanted to try i wanted to do this i'm going to link to this container and i'm going to start i'm going to look at my map right here where i am and i'm going to walk around each one of my tiles I mean, not 100%. I mean, that would take forever. But I'm going to start here and just kind of work my way around each tile. Let me see. Let me show you. Let me see if I can show you here. Because this is where we are now. Okay, this is where I am. So I'm going to go up, walk walk my way like this. Kind of like this. Kind of around the outskirts. Like this. And just collect all the ore that I run into. And then come back to the base. Um, the objective is to see, I've, let me see, did I link here yet? Yeah, I've linked here. So I want to see how much I can get in here. I want to, let's say, let's see if we can get 20 to 30 kiloliters of all of this. And then what I want to do is fill up that ship with ore eventually. And I just want to see how much one trip full of ore in that ship would make 
I'm quite sure it's really easy to find out. Um, if we were to just get 25 bucks per, um, and this holds. Ooh, what is that? 191,000? That's. Hey Siri, what is 191,000 times 25? 191,000 times 25 is 4,775,000. That's awesome. But I mean, that, I don't really know how long that would take. To, <laughs> how much mining that would take to fill up. Because I put seven containers in there and it did not, it didn't make a dent in that capacity. So, and this holds, okay, 166 kiloliters. So that's all right. No, so that's one hundred sixty-six thousand versus one hundred ninety-two thousand, right? Still, so not that much of a difference. So I'm I'm already linked to this. Um, I have I turned on all my machines again. Now that I know that you know the, I just have to be um, diligent with my pricing. Like right now, I, ha I still have. There's three of these still sitting at the market. So now my question is how much? Let's do view market page. Um, all. Okay, yeah, I'm still the cheapest. That's me right there. So, and I said that before that the mediums kind of hang around on the market. They don't sell all that fast. I put like five smalls, gone seven large containers gone so interesting anyway all right i'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw some music on for you guys and we're about to start mining let's go guys it's been an hour and 30 minutes and I did not make a dent <laughs> I mean I guess I did a little bit but it's not even you know, it's almost half full and now yeah, 28 31 17 hematite is few and far between I didn't I didn't get much of that oh you know maybe I did and it was just taken that's probably what it is no, that, that is what it is. Yeah, all these machines are running. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, so the iron was taken. 
Actually, I didn't, I didn't get much of it, to be honest with you, because I think uh, a, a lot of the areas that I was looking for hematite or just going around and just uh, collecting ores, I had already um, collected the hematite, so it hadn't respawned yet. I think I used to think it, it respawned daily. I think it might be weekly. So anyhow, so that's it for now. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video, and my next update will be when it's time to go back to the market with more containers um, yeah maybe I was gonna say maybe I'll take some ore but now nah, I don't now that I know that we're good on money let's let's just double check territories yeah so this is gonna be five hundred thousand one million million five two million so yeah all of these will be good to go and this is five days from now so that's awesome and I have the money um did I wait a minute oh is this done yet five minutes five minutes and I will put that Let's see. So that's five minutes. I'll probably take this one right here. Or maybe I should take this one. Get the get these two. Hmm. Or maybe I should go up here for this butterfly, this flower effect. But I really don't know if this has any significance. If this center right here truly benefits from having all of these tiles around it owned. I don't know if it, there's any benefit to that. Hmm. Maybe I won't go here. Kind of like going back this way too, but we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to add one more. I already have the miners to put down. Oh, let me switch my container back. Yep. So I'll do this, do that, and this. Yep. I already have my miners. To make sure. Oh, I have four. Four now. So another one has been made already. We have two here. We have three smalls. Not bad. Not bad at all. And we have. Okay, we don't have another one running. Mm, missing input components is probably basic hydraulics. Yeah, that that is it. That's what is the bottleneck at all times. Is the basic hydraulics and it's because it's missing basic oh it's missing pipes what's going on there basic pipes it's missing cylinder oh man all right, all right oh crap are you out of oh man I think I thought I put like a hundred of those over here tier one product material yeah, I have a lot. Let's do tier one product material. Let's do 200 of those. Dang it. I did not. I'm glad I checked. Because I was getting ready to end this episode and turn this turn it off. I'm glad I checked. Because I was going to say this. This never falls behind because it, it makes so much so quick. You figure it takes two minutes and it's 79.5 liters and that's 79 like for this for instance um, wait a minute, where is it it's going from here to here yeah 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 so it only takes 10 right and it takes two minutes and it only uses 10 and we have four of these machines running 
this produces 75 so I could actually have seven of these running off of this one machine and I would still have five liters left well, I would have nine liters left every two minutes that's awesome this is this thing right here is awesome so I was thinking about as a matter of fact I think I did uh, make two more Hold on, where, where did it go let me see yeah I did I thought let's make sure did I make two more where are they I thought I made two more you know what no okay uh, hmm did I turn it off it's pulling from the large container and it's go oh wait a minute that's why it's going to here there there they are right there I did make two more ha <laughs> ha look at your boy look at your boy Let's see if we can put another one in place right here real quick. Mm-hmm. Well, let's do this and then get it right. Okay. Right there. Okay, so this is pulling from... Come on, will it go up here? Yes, and then it's being deposited here. There you go. That's going to help. Definitely is going to help. So that's basic hydraulics. Let's turn this on. Um, hydraulics, basic, do that. Um, let's do 500. the pipes okay it's fine so what is this set for oh, a thousand all right let's do that stop um, there okay maintain a thousand so that'll be running that's awesome that'll help that's an extra three every three minutes so it's an extra one a minute so that's awesome so that's running we collected a crap ton of ore. That's awesome. Uh, but not hematite. I'm hoping um, that when I start going to different planets, I'm hoping to find a planet where I can get huge amounts of hematite. Huge. You know, I can I can throw like five or five or ten large miners on a huge pool of it. I don't know if that kind of thing exists. But it'll be nice to see, uh, nice to uh, experiment with it. So I can go to systems. Um, and wait a minute. I thought we should be, I should be able to hit do space. Huh. Anyway, so this would tell me cobalt, cobaltite. Hmm. So tell me exactly what planets or what. How far is this? Whoa, 400. What's out there? Coal, hematite, uh, natron. Oh, this is the, this is where I need to go. This has everything. But my goodness, look at this. That's a long way away. Redacted. This planet should not be here. Hmm. Thetis. This has... Oxide, coal, hematite, quartz, malachite, or whatever this is, and whatever that is. Hmm. So I wonder if there's an advantage going way out here. Oh, it has natron. This one doesn't. What is this? Mattis. This has pyrite, chromite, quartz, oxide, coal, and hematite. Hmm. I may have to get out here to Mattis. 
because that pyrite I'm going to need and that chromite. I need both of these for like advanced uh, my miners and things like that. So, but until then, no worries. We're just going to, we're going to keep on doing what we're doing until we have about 20 million. All right, guys, time for the last update of this episode. What we're going to do, we're getting ready to expand again. I already expanded once. And I'm going to show you the money. Oh, yeah, 4.8 million. And the reason is I just purchased this property here. Right there. Just bought that for 500,000. So we have this complete the flower, as they call it here, plus these two. And I think what we'll do next um, is expand because this gives us three, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, I'll continue. I'll run this for about a week and see if I can have the amount of charges that I think I'm gonna have left over where I can actually run more than 10 of these territories. Because right now, because the assembly line that I put in place is based on a lot of iron, the only auto miners that I'm recharging or recalibrating on a 24 hour basis is the um, hematite. So if I don't, th I, I would have to rotate it because I, we get one charge every, I think is every three and a half hours. But I think once my last talent is completed, let's go industry, let's just do charge, charge there, Count, uh, charge volume. Yeah, see we have another one here. So five total, that's going to get us up to 50, okay? Because right now we're at 45, so I need to get this one, which I'll have a million. I think we get a million or maybe four million. I'll have to look into that, but I know we get some type of surplus of or bonus talent points each month. And I qualify for the highest tier. So I think it's maybe three or four million. I don't know off the top of my head, but... Um, Minus 21, oh, when did that one get done? Calibration gain, hmm. Oh, right here, okay, nine minutes, okay, yeah, this is the one, we're waiting on this one, and yeah, with this one, plus this one being done, it should be down to three minutes. That's what it was in the beta, unless they changed it. So, every three minutes, I mean, sorry, three hours, you get a, a charge for the auto miners. So, what would that be? Eight charges within 24 hours plus eight, uh, if it's three hours for one. So, I think that's 24. So, that means every 24 hours, I can recharge eight of the... Uh, Hematite. So if I had more than 10 territories, it would effectively, let's say up to 16. Let's say I had 16 territories. Every 48 hours, I could recharge all 16 of those. And then on like every 72 hours, I would then have to recharge the rest of the miners. But I'm going to run into a problem there because there's just not enough charges to go around, if that makes sense. So, I don't really know if I can get over 10. We'll, we'll, I'll figure it out. No worries. But that, that's, that, that's what the plan is. And right now, so we've completed this. Completed this here. And I might do this here. And maybe I just focus on certain, maybe this piece here. Since it's surrounded by all these other territories. So this territory here and that territory there, maybe I concentrate on those two as far as re-optimizing or, or um, configuring the auto miners. 
calibrating the auto miners every 24 hours. Maybe this one and this one only. And then just save up the rest so that I can equally re recalibrate all of the miners all the way around. Um, up to 10 anyway. I don't think I can effectively do over 10 based on my math before. So anyhow, we are going to go over and set up the new territory. I bought it because I didn't want anybody else to jump in front of me. So I bought it before I started recording here, but I haven't done anything to it. Oh, and I had to, I don't know if I put this in one of the updates, but for talents, I had to actually do core, core unit upgrade. Yeah, right here. I had to actually do this one because I only had three. And with the territory that I had already purchased, because um, I had already purchased this one. I just did this one a couple minutes ago. I had already purchased this one, but I was unable to put down a core and, and put the miners down. So I'm getting ready to put the miners here and miners over there. Now that I have the, the additional three cores. And speaking of which, now that I thought about that, I'm going to have to up. I'm going to have to do this one as well in order to add three more cores. To be able to have that many um, territories. So, all right, let's head over. I've put everything that I needed into my ship here. Let's make sure. Yep. So we have five, six. We're going to put three on each property. We have, ooh, we only have one core. Where's my other core? Oh, oh man, <laughs> I completely forgot to build out another core. Static core. Okay, so we need to start that. Uh, we can do that. I'll come back. No worries. Let's go over and get at least one of those put down. I love that. I mentioned to you guys I love my ship. Love, love, love my ship. Okay, let's just put it right there at 200. And then we're going to go over here. Yeah, this ship is amazing. Makes life real easy for me. So we have this one. And... Yeah, here's where we want to go. We want to build right over here. Let's go down to about 100. Uh, yep, right over here. And I wonder if I stop. Yeah, this ship is amazing. This is. How is it staying up like this? Fully. This is what I want my other ships to be able to do. Just come to a complete stop like this and, and just stay where it is. Whereas with that, with the ships that I had, that I had built, like the one that's at my base now, once you, once I come to zero, that bad boy goes straight to the ground. This is pretty sweet. All right, so let's go ahead and hit land. Well, actually, I'm, I'm hitting, holding down C in order to go down to the ground. Nice and soft. There we are. Okay, so we will, oh, let's link to this. Why am I moving? What's going on with that? Okay, we're gonna have to fix you, bro. there all right we want this to be as simple as possible where's our corner corners right there so let's do let's do this and okay let's do a page up <clears throat> now let's see where that is in alignment with this because we don't want that to cross over 
Let's go about right there. Is that straight down the line without crossing over? Perfect. All right, now if I go up. Right about there. How does that align with... Uh, okay, so the line switches right here. All right, I can come over a little bit towards me. Okay, and then it switches over there. All right. What about... Yep, we're good. We're good to go. Okay. Now, I'm going to hit number nine. I'm going to take you down some. Oops. Must be facing the wrong direction. There. Now. Um, that should be good, right? Right off the... Yeah, that's not too bad. There it is. Okay. Now let's go in here. Let's get 50 of this. And then we'll start there. And go over to like there. Perfect. Now what um, what I had to do, guys, I had to start putting, as you can see in inventory, I have to start putting mediums down. Whoa. Thing's ginormous. Whoa. Thing's huge. <laughs> I guess I really didn't realize how big this thing was until you try putting it on some type of uh, smaller surface. That bad boy's huge. Okay, there. Let's put you. Call that big boy cock diesel. Alright, now go here and let's stack all this. Beautiful. We're going to put one here. We'll put one there, and I'm kind of up in the air about the quartz, guys, because I don't really use the quartz, and there's not much coming out of it anyway. So I don't know. I think I'll probably do it anyway, and just put a smaller miner on it, uh, like I did before, because it is free money, basically, because I've already paid for the territory, right? So... Mine as well. Right there. Right there. Perfect. Alright. We're going to do... Let's do him a tight first. Calibrate this bad boy. It's amazing the difference that it makes when you come back and calibrate the second day. Just because of the bonus. Come on, do me right. Area. Okay. Let's do. Oops. Area also with you. Come on, be good to me. Oh, man. Is it going to be down in here? Uh, let's try that. Dang it. All right, let's try it over here then. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Um, let's try like this in this corner. There it is. Oh, come on, bro. You're killing me, Smalls. What about this point? How does that work? Does that give me 100%? Oh, it does. There she blows. Boom, baby. Okay. Start her up. Nice. Okay, we did hematite. We'll do bauxite. See if this one goes easier. Maybe so. Um, 
How about there? Up, oh, perfect. There she is. There she blows. Come on. So, I think I told you guys I was running into a Vox General Voxel error. And it's always way out here when I'm linked to my container back at the base. That's when I was running into the problem. So from now on, when I have to come out here to collect the ores, I'm just going to bring my ship and link to it to eliminate the problem. Because I haven't, haven't seen that problem since. Alright, right about there. Come on. Oh man, is it right in here? Let's overlap that a little bit just to make sure. Oh, that's brutal. Alright, one more. And then we'll, we'll set the final destination. Ooh, that was bad. All right, we'll do here. Where was it? Whoa, way over here. All right. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Now we can collect all this beautiful ore. Okay, guys, so that's going to be it for this episode because the only thing I'm going to do now is just go back to the base and I'm going to come on swap out, well, transfer all this ore over to my ore container. Oh, you know what? I'll show you guys that because I had to add, I'm starting to get so much ore now, now that I have all these territories that it was actually filling up a large container. So I had to add another container. That's awesome. That's awesomeness. So it's gonna get to the point where I have a couple hundred kiloliters of uh, ore. That'll be a real nice payday. Yeah, this box is gonna come in handy. Come on, there we go. And then what I'll do, I'll get my next static core, small static core, uh, made. Doesn't take that long, and I have like all the all the parts. I think all the small parts. And I think it takes maybe 30 minutes for me to make one. So I'll do that, and then we'll be good to go. Next episode, we'll put down the other uh, miner minor little setup like this we'll put it right over there on that side and then what I might do is relocate the other mining platform to be right on the corner I'll show you guys come on man see I run into this a lot more when I'm further away from my base. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Being further away from my base. I'm not I'm not linked to anything to the base, but I just notice when I'm way out here mining, I just run into these pending errors and general voxel errors and all this other stuff that I don't run into ever when I'm near near my base. Alright, come on, there we go. Let's go. I'm looking forward to that, these talents being optimized as well. So it's going to be amazing. So, what I was saying, um, when I come back, I'm going to put a core here and set up the mining platform right on this side. And then what I'm thinking is bringing the one that I put down over here. There's one over here somewhere. I think it's way over there. I know I'll leave that one alone. Maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, because this one here needs to be... I don't... Maybe. 
Okay, so we just put this one down, which is on this side. This one over here does not have one at all. The way I'm reading, yeah, I think the one on this side here would be right over there. Right there next to the other one. I could relocate. It's the one underwater. I can relocate that to right over here. Right here. And then I, I can hit these three when I come here. That's perfect. And then I can relocate the one on the other side of that one. Up in the corner near the one I just put over there. So there are two there's one that you can see here and then there's one underwater. The one underwater I can relocate over to here. The one next to it, the one you can see, I can relocate to right over there next to this one. That makes sense. That way when I have my ship, I can do these three and those two. And then fly back to the ship, I'm back to the base, deposit all that, and then hit the other ones just with the hovercraft. Because it's really simple just to fly around the hovercraft, collect this stuff. Coming way out here with the hovercraft is a, is a no-no because I'm not connected to the base. So. Alright, big man, you need to come on down here. Number six, come on, there we are. Come on up here. We need that. Now we can go back to the base. Okay. Yeah, I love this. Like I can come all the way up here. Oh, that's interesting. It started to fall. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do like 200, somewhere in there, 260, because this thing has phenomenal brakes. And I do mean phenomenal. Yeah, this ship is definitely built for me. Ship for dummies. <laughs> Ships for ships for flying impaired. Alright, and the kind of look at this thing. The thing stops on a freaking dime. I love it. It makes flying so simple. Uh oh. Am I not over it? Okay, there we go. Perfect. Alright, we can get out now. And then I always align it like I want with my little maneuver tool. Make it look like I landed it really nice. There we go. You can see, you come to my base, you never know that I didn't land it like that. <laughs> Alright, so I come over here, see, I put these two, and I use this container hub from the blueprint for the um, the hauler that I bought when I was over on Haven. I forget the name of it. Mule? I think it was called the Mule. So, uh, this is my container hub, and we're going to use this to put all this here. Boom, baby. That's perfect. We'll leave. We'll go put this stuff back until we have everything else that we need. Put all that back over here, just so I don't forget it. Okay, put this as my linked container. And we are good to go. I love my little setup, guys. You have no idea. I love my little setup. The only thing I have to do is deposit my ore, and everything is automated. The only man, I'm telling you guys, what they need to do is put some type of automatic, automatic schematic bank or something, right? I need to have a, a banking system, 
or, or a device that we can build, put it right here and set it on auto to maintain 10 of each schematic or something, right? And it automatically pulls from our currency, generates the, uh, the schematic, and then we can have it, but it needs to have like the connections of a hundred different machines or something. They really need to be able to have more than 10 machines pulling from it. Um, because having to remember to come and put these schematics in all these machines, man, that's, oof, that's, that's tedious, bro. That's almost as bad as the mining used to be for me. So anyhow, that's it for this episode, guys. We are, we're, we're moving. I am really, re oh, 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 hold on. Before I, before I forget, I also learned a lesson with the, with the market. The market will always work. Okay. And what I've learned is. I have to, let's say what I want to do a container, container large, come in here, this is just what I've learned, come in and I'm on Alioth, so you're competing with everybody on Alioth, right, because the beautiful thing about being on Alioth is you can just jump on the shuttle, if someone has it cheaper at District 2, you can just jump over, you can take the shuttle to District 2 or you can teleport to the dist different districts. Right. Oh no, 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 I'm sorry. You can teleport to the different districts. The shuttle is going from Alioth to Haven to Sanctuary. Sorry about that. So, you can teleport to all the different districts and buy whatever the heck you want to buy. Right. Um. So you're competing with all these guys. So what I've learned to do is just come in here, regardless of what I want for the, you know, I I would love to get 225 for the large containers. But you know how long it's going to be before this person here sells any of these all of these up here have to sell first right and it's not like this game has a million user base so you know users on this planet or or playing the game at one time so i just turned i've, I've just learned to take my loss um 199 no because this is these are going to sell pretty quick this 205 that's only two see this one up this six so i will go above them I would do two, 209, 699. So I would be right up here. And then I turn the game off, go to bed, whatever. When I come back, gone. That's what I've noticed. Now, if I also notice if I do that, let's say I do 209, 699, go to bed, wake up tomorrow, and I have like two left. Every single time that's happened, when I come to the market, someone has undercut me with a large quantity of, of product. So I'm at 209, 699. Someone came in through 50 up there for 209, 599. So people are buying out of that, that bulk of 50 instead of coming and buying from me. So that's what I've noticed with the market. Um, I also came up with an idea like, you know, what keeps me from eventually buying something low because I saw this like someone at at a, at a moon or wherever it was it was it was quite far they were willing to pay like 250 for the containers and you could actually buy them cheaper than that so you know once I have my interplanetary ship with huge capacity Man, I could just go somewhere, buy a big, huge bulk of whatever. Kind of like what I was doing with Star Citizen. I never thought about doing it on the, with this game. I only thought about selling my own items. But when I th when I saw that, I'm like, hey, that's a good idea, right? Just you're just basically trading. So let's do ore. Um, let's do bauxite. So market Mattis, they want they they'll pay you twenty six bucks for it. You can buy it for, okay, so the lowest is 20, 24, so you're making $2, right? But what if you bought, um, okay, this one has 7,000, so you're making, uh, that's what you, so you're only going to make 7,000 bucks. Yeah. 25. Yeah, that you'll be making thirty five hundred bucks there if you were to only if you were to sell them seventy five hundred of them, seventy three. And 
you have to pay 25 bucks and 20, yeah, 50 cents. You're making 50 cents per. So you're not making much money. Anyway, but that's a possibility, though. You know, someone who doesn't want to go through the, I mean, you're talking weeks, guys. I mean, <laughs> you know, days upon days and hours upon hours to set this up like this. Right. For someone who doesn't want to go through this, you can. I don't if you if you're just going to mine manually your property or just set up your miners. And just collect your ores, get a nice little lump sum of cash, buy your trading ship, then continue to wait and get a nice little lump sum of cash again and then go start trading. I wish they had. Again, I wish this was just more user friendly. I wish I could see what's in demand on at what location and then be able to see where I can buy that from I wish there was a way to do that because um, you actually have to pi is it pyrite yeah let's do that so you can buy it here yeah well yeah you're not gonna make any money They only want two fifty. They're only willing to give you two fifteen for it. But you can actually, you can only buy it for two ninety five. So that that wouldn't work. But man, if you had, if you had access to this stuff, look how much money you can make. Two fifteen for twenty thousand. Man, that's oof, that's a killing. You're making a killing all oh, that month. Woo, that's nice. So that again, that that gives me more motivation, right, to get my interplanetary ship, then build out some uh, territory scanners and go hunting for this kind of ore. Get a large pool of this. Set some auto miners down. Ooh, man, I'd be making some money. Good makes some good money. So, anyway, guys, that's it. Until next episode, it's your boy putting in that work. We're making money, guys. We are making money. Right now, let me see how many containers do I have in here? Uh oh. There. I now have three, and we have three more being made. So anyway, there's three in, in stock there, and we have three more being made. That's another six. That's another 1.2 million right there. And how many? We have three already of the mediums. And I have it maxed out at five, so yeah, that'll be by the end of today. Those five will be done. How many? Uh, this one's maxed out already. So that's so awesome. And these, oh, okay. I have it at set at five. There's only four in a container, but they're out of schematics. How many tier one large? Do I have any more of those? I do. Let's do two here. No, let's do one. One there. And one here. Tier one large. There. There we have it. So we have everything going there. I don't know, what are these? Oh, this is for territories. Eh, I don't have to worry about that. So that's it, guys. Until next episode, it's your boy Decades. Putting in that work. You guys make sure you're positive. Be positive. Put that positive energy out to the universe. It makes a huge difference, guys. It's your boy. And I'm out.